Hello, this is going to be a quick overview of Easy Rank Tracker. Uh, this is a rank tracking product. It has a monthly subscription, or you can do a one time uh, purchase. I believe it's around $100 for the one time uh, fee. I don't know if that's going to stay or how it, how it is, but um, that's the main setup. So once you download it, get it running on your computer, this is what it looks like. I'm uh, just going to run through here so you can see the layout and how it works. So when you first come in, of course, you're not going to have anything, so you would add a project. All right, you enter a project name, URL, you can upload keywords, or you can just type them in one per line here. You can also ask for any page match, so you want to find anything on your domain that you're looking or that is ranking or you can uh, return results only to specific pages if you're wanting to do that. Uh, the software also supports uh, daily report sending or um, every week and then you can select whether you're trying to um, find uh, YouTube videos ranking or if you're actually going through the search engines and you want to do you know Google being Yahoo um, or one of the other uh, variants. All right, And then you can enter an email where you want your report to be sent. Of course, there's a little bit more setup, uh, and that's in the settings. You know, you have to configure um, an email server and input that information, but that's fairly simple. All right, you just click save, and you're good to go. All right, so I have a project set up here. You can select it, and this is a example. Um, it's really easy. Just put in a few, tell them what search engine you want to look for. All right, and you're good to go. All right. So we'll get it started and then go through the rest of the settings. So kind of uh, interesting here, you click here to start and you select what you want to do. Do you want to do this project, uh, Google, do you want Yahoo and Bing, do you want to select search engines or do you want to run all the projects? Actually I forgot to select project, so we'll do that and click Google. Alright, so it's going over here um, and it looks, I've got it set for two threads, you can select how many thre concurrent threads you want running. Um, it does have notes. You can select a project and add notes. Kind of a handy little feature instead of keeping them somewhere else. Um, if you want stats, you can look at your PR, PA, DA, all that stuff. Um, there's also social stats. I'm not as interested in that. I <clears throat> don't need that in a rank tracker. Uh, proxies you can um, have imported there. And then reports is kind of a neat feature. Um, you can do uh, white label reporting on this. So uh, most rank trackers, not all, and I'm, I certainly haven't used every single one, but most either charge a premium for the white label reports or it's not available or you got to pay like a higher monthly fee. So this I thought was kind of a nice um, add-on for this in the sense that it's free, it's, it's just a nice feature they have in here. Let's see if I can do a report preview. If you want to open it, yes. Alright, so it's very simple, um, but it is included. All right, so you get, you know, it has nothing about the product name on here. It's just, you know, you've got your logo that you uploaded and your information, and then you can um, arrange some of this and it gives you just a couple options. And then down here you can have your address, email, phone, and uh, website. All right, and that can be automatically sent out, which is kind of nice. All right, and then the settings, this is where you put in that stuff, your um, company name and logo, all that. This is where you could put in your email settings to have this. Um, automated. And then this is where you can select your actual rank checking settings, such as how many, um, how far deep do you want to search. Um, same thing for YouTube results. Do you want to automatically check how many threads you want, proxy timeouts, and then the weight between each request, which you actually can't lower, um, lower than seven. All right, rank checking is completed. So we'll hop back there in a minute and check it out. Um, you do want to enable proxies, you need to do that if you put proxies in, and then a couple other uh, standard options here. All right. So we'll go back and see. All right, fairly standard again, but gives you charts. Um, it shows um, all of the keywords. You can see where they've been changing or added. Um, let's see. Oops. So get that chart back here. I right, got the chart back, and then you can, you know, select if you don't want to see certain ones um, in the chart if it's too much information or something like that. All right, so this is the basic overview. Um, the only thing that I've noticed with this is that there's no integration for CAPTCHA solving. 
So if your pro uh, proxies burn out or if you're not using proxies and you're searching too fast, um, you could have an issue there. Um, and it wouldn't, you know, it's kind of nice if you can run things quickly. So as a kind of background process, this may be useful and you set your um, time between queries up and just have it, um, you know, running maybe on a BPS or you know, background process somewhere. All right, so hopefully this was helpful in helping you uh, kind of discover or check out this rank tracker and see if this is something that might be helpful for your needs.